welcome back to the channel. My name's Vicky, and today we are going to be showing you how to make these chatter boxes. And we also have them in different colours. If you like this video, then give it a nice thumbs up and subscribe below. If you haven't seen, I do actually have an Instagram account where I'm posting on there every single day. Um, so that is under Vicky Giraffe. So check that Instagram account out and let's show you how to make these chatter boxes. Okay, so we've got our nice pink sheet of paper here. What we're going to do is we're going to take the top corner and bring it down to the bottom edge. And we're just going to line it up nicely so it all aligns. The bait, fold it in down the centre there. And then what we need is we need a square bit of paper. So by doing this, we then have a square. So we don't actually need this edge here. So we're going to cut that off. So I'm going to do that here now. There we are, so that can be put to one side. So now we have our square. We've got one line going all the way through. We're going to fold it over so that we've got a line going the other way as well. Press that crease down. So when you open it up, you can see the nice cross there through the creases. So we're going to take each corner and we're going to fold it through to the centre point. And just fold it over there. So we're going to do this all the way around. Just bring those edges in. Last one there. Superb. And now when we've done this, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it over. And we're going to do exactly the same again, bringing all the corners into this middle point here. So making a chatter box is pretty easy to do. And it's using what we know as origami. So that's the, the art of folding paper. Okay, so we're almost done there. One more. Lovely job. So that is our main bit of folding. What we're going to do is we're going to just fold it in half here. Not line it up. Fold it in half there. And we're also going to turn it the other way and fold it in half as well super duper. So what you can do now is we've got these little flaps at the bottom. We're going to put our thumb and our first finger in one side and push that up and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side as well. And you'll see here we now have a chatterbox. So now it comes into the way of decorating this chatterbox. So if I open it up again, I'm going to lay it flat. There we are. And I'll get some pens. And there we are. So we've got different colours here. So we're going to put different colour name on each of the four sides. So let's start off with blue. Lovely. Pink. Green. And then we'll use the last one, which is purple here. Lovely. And then we're going to turn this the other way. And we've got all these different triangles now. So what we're going to do is we're going to number them 1 to 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Lovely. Now what you can do now is you can open up these and you can either put a comment on top and bottom or you can just do it in the whole space there. So I think what we're going to do today is we're going to do a few comments like do star jumps with 10 seconds and we're going to do um, maybe a couple of inspirational pieces as well. So, um, you know, you're an amazing person. Let's just put these on here. Okay, you are amazing. Okay, do 10 star jumps. So I'm going to carry on filling these guys out and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. 
how did you get on making your chatterbox? So this is the finished one here. So should we show how it works? So you choose a colour first. So let's choose pink. P-I-N-K. And I've got numbers inside. So there's one, two, five and six. So we're going to choose a number. So let's choose number two. One, two. And then you ask the person one or two. And then you open up the flap. As you can see one, two on there. And then you tell them what's inside. So what you can do is you can either do one thing per triangle, one section, or you can do what I've done and two things on each section, so up and down, and then tell you what it is. So this one here is pull your funniest face. So does that mean I've got to do it? Oh, let's give it a shot. How's that work? Okay. So that's how a chatterbox works. So you choose a colour, you do the number of letters for the colour, then inside you've got numbers, so you then do it forwards and backwards for however many numbers you have, and then you ask the person which number they'd like in the routine, and then you lift it up and tell them what it is. So what you can always do there is you can always put a joke in it, and then tell someone a joke and see whether they get the answer or not. Um, you can do ins inspirational quotes, you can get them to do something like stand on one leg um, or stand like a statue or something like that. Um, so it's just something fun that you can get on with and folding the paper like this is known as origami. So I have already done an origami video where we made a boat and the boat does float as well. So I'll leave that link below so you guys can check out how to do that one because that's very, very easy as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed, just give it a nice thumbs up and subscribe below and I will see you again soon. Bye!